Greetings, ghosts and ghouls, and welcome to another episode of Undead Gaming. I am the Undead Gamer, and today we are playing a new Pokemon game. Now, don't worry, I will still be continuing Pokemon Zeta. I'm not done with the Nuzlocke Challenge or anything like that. But, this game has been making the woodworks very recently, and has gotten a lot of people in the Pokemon community a bit excited. This is Pokemon Apex. Now, this is a game that has been touted as being a Pokemon game for adults. I'm not really sure what that means, except that uh, apparently it deals with some more adult theme, uh, more adult themes and stuff like that. Now there are other games that are more dark or adult-like, so I'm interested in seeing what makes this game so unique. Uh, the developer is uh, someone by the name of Nate, also goes by I am Vishnu, and I will have a link to his blog as well as the means to download the game in the description below if you guys want to check out the game as well. Now this game is supposed to be in alpha, so it's not fully complete. I won't be doing a Nuzlocke challenge or anything like that. It's mostly just checking out the game, seeing how it goes, checking out what works, what doesn't work, what makes this game so unique, and uh, we'll just sort of go from there. I'm not really sure where the game ends. There's nothing on the blog or anything that was sort of showing that to me, but um, you know, let's just go ahead and get started and see how the game works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit on new game. Develop I am Vishnu Nate. He has his Tumblr right on there in the game. Smart. Okay, so welcome to Pokemon Apex. Do you need any help before we begin? Uh, nope, I got everything I need. Okay, sounds good. Now, how would you like to create your character? We got quick setup or regular setup. We're going to go for regular setup. Let's see what that does. I'm so tired, I can barely think. Which am I, game? Am I a boy or a girl? Well, I guess for the sake of this, we're going to go ahead with a boy character this time. Now, if only I could remember my name. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in, um, put in my name, Jeffrey. Okay, enter. So I'm Jeffrey. That's correct. Ugh, I don't want to get up. Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. All right. So we are awake. So this is uh, this is us. Okay. Let's check out our. Uh, so that's us. That's our uh, little. Trainer car thing, so yeah, everything seems standard. Nothing too, uh, we look like some kind of a rebel punk kind of thing. Um, character looks okay, I like the, 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 um, the unique sprite. What's the back situation like? Alright. Alright, so, we're pretty familiar with this. So, ooh, I always have some time for Donkey Kong Country. Oh wait, this is like, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm I'm excited. I like this. I like this a lot. I like. I'm already enjoying this. I love Donkey Kong Country. That was actually the first game I ever got from um, for the Super Nintendo. I remember, like about a year ago, I actually stayed up all night to beat the entire game. It was fantastic. Oh, look, I have a news t message on Tumblr. Delete your blog. Yeah, as if. Oh, look at me. I'm so edgy. God, I haven't been on Tumblr in forever. It's been years. Last night's homework. Blah. All right. So, don't have the running shoes just yet. I'm assuming this is where my dad sleeps, which, you know what? Yeah, it's my dad's laptop. I shouldn't snoop, but should I? Of course I will. Although, I'll give them props. It's the first time I finally see a parent actually having a room in a Pokemon game. Usually, it's just the kid, and the parent just lives perpetually in their living room. Let's snoop. Please enter your password. Damn, it's password protected. All right. Uh, Look, this is my dad's underwear drawer, okay? I'm not going to go through this, no matter what. I will say, there's a lot of interact- like, I can interact with a lot of things in here. Dad has some of his best work clothes in here. They're all just different sets of the same outfit. I guess you gotta give him credit for consistency. Okay. Uh, oh, my dad, uh, looks like my dad's Norman. Hey, Jeffrey. Glad to see you're awake. Listen, I made some breakfast for you before you head to class. That's your spot on the table. Don't be late today, please. Thanks, Dad. You probably just you probably want to put on your running shoes. Just hold Z to run or square in my case. So we got the running shoes. Fantastic. A good testament of a good Pokemon game is how quickly they can give you the running shoes. The sooner the better. This trash can could probably stand to be taken out. At least it's mostly just paper waste. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know which is my side. Oh, I'm gonna assume this is my side because the other side has. Actually, I don't know. Is this mine? I don't know. Maybe this is mine. Yeah, it is mine. This looks delish delicious. Let's eat. Okay. Ah, delicious. Dad's cooking is the best. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna head over to school. Oh, is the TV on? I wonder if there's anything good on TV. We now return with snorkeling with the stars. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. All right. So let's head on outside and see what the, what world awaits us. Ooh, wow. Nasin City Suburbs. So we start off in a big uh, city area. I like it. Ooh, Nasin City. Okay. There's a nice little uh, like cutscene that kind of shows off the town. All right, so we're like in the city area. Uh, let's see here. Not bad. Presentation's pretty good. Alright, so this is our house. This is my place. I wonder if there's any mail for me. Nope. Alright. Oh, and I wonder. It's it's nighttime. It's it's nighttime in the real world, as I usually do my recording at night. But I wonder if uh, this game runs off of like an uh, like my computer's internal clock as well, and it'll be nighttime if I'm playing it at night, and daytime if I'm playing it at daytime. I'll have to check that out. This is Heather's place. She's been my best friend since we were kids. Oh, Heather. Let me see if I can visit her. So. We're gonna be exploring a lot of places in these play in this playthrough. And on TV, yeah, snorkel and stars. Because this looks fantastic. Hey Jeffrey, how's school going? Have you thought about colleges yet? Nope. Jeffrey, how's your dad doing? He's always so busy. Tell him I said hi, and that he and I should go out for a drink sometime. Can do. Anyway, not bad. So like I said, I'm not doing a Nuzlocke challenge. Residence, please swipe key card for access. Guess I'm not getting in there. Just because um, I kind of want to be able to safely explore this place. But what I think I'm going to do anyways is uh, while I won't do, um, while I won't do a Nuzlocke challenge, I'm going to limit myself to only having being able to carry six Pokemon at a time. So Pokemon can die or whatever, and I'll be able to revive them and stuff. But I'm going to try to limit myself to only like the like six Pokemon in my party. Uh, period. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I'll figure stuff out. Maybe I'll just be normal and just collect whatever I see. I don't think there's any fake mon in this game. Um, truth be told, I haven't even seen anything Pokemon related so far, which is interesting. As much as I'd rather skip school, I'd get in big trouble. This makes it funny because it is nighttime. Uh, <laughs> then I'm still supposed to be heading off to school at like uh, 3.47 in the morning. That is the current time as I'm filming this. I tossed a coin into the fountain to make a wish, but now I want my coin back. You know, you, you can just, like, stick your hand in there and get it back. Alright, so this place is great, although it's a little, slightly causing my computer to chug a bit, but that's eh, probably fine. Bean Builders Incorporated. No trespassing. Hey, you're not supposed to be here! Get out of here! Alright, alright, alright. I'm afraid I can't let you through here. There's roadwork being done up ahead, and I can't let any pedestrian through. Fair enough. Wow, look at all these cars. More cars I've seen in this thing than I've seen in most Pokemon game. Hey, you're in high school, right? Do you like it? Honestly, based on my experience with high school, it was okay, but I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not you. I still got seven years left before that. <laughs> Good luck with middle school, kid. Wait. He has seven years. He's like in elementary school. Maybe I'm warning him for the upcoming middle school, whatever. So, Nassim City High School, my favorite place in the entire world. Oh my goodness, this is... Uh, at least I feel like a teenager now. I have English first today, so I need to head to Mr. Barnes' class. Fair enough. Nassine High Warboards 2004 Regional Champions. This is apparently a painting done by a student here. It's okay, I guess. It's a portrait of Nikola Tesla. Oh, cool. The Physics Club pitched a fit when the school tried to hang a portrait of Thomas Edison and petitioned for this one instead. Yeah... A portrait of Theodore Roosevelt. Keep on rocking, Teddy. So, this is definitely in our world. The map to learning begins with an open mind. This is so cheesy it hurts. It's a mural of our school mascot. Some kind of bird of prey? A hawk? An eagle? I have no idea. I'm not really one for school spirit. Okay, so so far, I've noticed that there have been no mention of any Pokemon. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if... Hmm. As much as I try to deny it, it's just not time for lunch yet. Okay. So let's see here. Mrs. Davy Science. This is really cool. Mr. Barnes English class. Ah, Jeffrey, how nice of you to join us. Please take your seat. 
Looks like Jeffrey's late again. How many tidies do you have to get before you get sent to the blah blah? Whenever the cast is ready, we will resume our coverage of the metaphor of death in Shakespeare's Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet, one of my personal favorites. I actually I remember us reading Hamlet in my AP English class, senior year. Yeah, and I, we were all given a role to read, and I managed to get Hamlet, which was great, but also that guy is very wordy. So as you can see, Shakespeare uses Hamlet to signify blah, 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 blah. All right. And Hamlet lifts up the skull of Yorick and exclaims, oh my goodness, are you just reiterating the entire story to us? That's not a really conductive way of teaching. Things. Whoa. Oh, where am I? Jeffrey. Hello? Jeffrey! You're not falling asleep in my class, are you? Uh, no sir, not at all. <laughs> then you'll have no difficulty telling the class what exactly Hamlet exclaims about holding the skull aloft. He... Um... Pring. Class dismissed. Don't forget to read the final act of Hamlet tonight. Jeffrey, I'll expect that answer first thing tomorrow. Uh, sure. What the hell just happened? You were daydreaming, bro. Alright, time to head home for the day. I would have had one class and that was it? God, this is like Persona, um, Persona 3 or Persona 4 level of, of school work. You just one class and you're done. Although I guess now it's a bit more appropriate that it's nighttime. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. So, I'm gonna presume that it's my laptop. Oh, I can't. I just can't go in your house. That makes sense. But yeah, I'm presuming it's my laptop. But when I'm in the city, there's like these little chuggy moments. I don't know if you guys will be able to notice it, um, but I definitely do notice it, and uh, it makes me a little conscious. I shouldn't wander off like that. That is smart. And if I go this way, ooh, it just keeps going. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I'm gonna presume that's Heather. My best friend. Hey, Jeffrey. Rival Heather. So I'm going to assume that if we picked to play as a girl, we would have been able to play as her. How were your classes? Uh, they were okay. Mr. Barnes was really grilling me today. I think he was pissed that I kind of dozed off in his class a bit. <laughs> yeah, he hates it whenever people are sleeping in his class. Were you out playing games again last night? Honestly, no. I've just been so tired lately. I can't explain it, but something just feels off. Sounds like you're coming down with something. Anyway, I have some homework to do. Come on later, we can play some games, okay? Sure, Heather. Can't really tell because you're just like a pixel thing, but I'm going to presume you're cute. New text message. Dad, left my notes at home. Can you bring them to the lab after school? Looks like Dad left his notes at home again. I'll just pick them up and run them to the lab downtown. Alright, so... Cool. So far, it's a, it's an interesting start. It's definitely a different start than Pokemon, which is usually like, here's a Pokemon, go. Um, are the notes here? No, that's my room. Did I leave it downstairs? Unless it's on the computer. Oh no, there it is. These are the notes that Dad's wanted me to bring to him. Obtain research notes. But yeah, mostly Pokemon is like, here's your Pokemon as quickly as we can because we can't have you explore without Pokemon. Uh, without a, you know, start a Pokemon or whatever. But here it seems like, number one, I don't think there are any Pokemons in this world. Or I haven't seen anything about it. It's, it's usually in the Pokemon world, People can't go like 10 seconds without saying the word pokey, so I'm surprised. Um, and I didn't read anything about this game. Like, I downloaded it, I, I've heard people t call it like an adult game, but I don't actually know anything like in terms of plot or stuff like that. Um, so a lot of these places are locked. I'm going to assume they might just be locked, one, because it just makes sense that I shouldn't be going in them. But some of these where I'm like entering the door, I think they just uh, haven't built in the room yet again this is alpha so it, it makes sense not all these spaces are probably populated just yet but you know so far it's interesting it's um dialogue is pretty good rev text text out ex, uh, established 1849 the sign is so faded i can barely read it this place has been abandoned for years interesting there's a huge yeah can't move all right i don't know where dad works but uh I'm exploring this town. Yeah, and I've also haven't seen a Pokemon Center. I haven't seen a Pokemart. And I've seen City Mall. I'm only going in there if I absolutely have to. 
It's a... Uh, oh, well, I spoke too soon. Here's a Pokemart. Quick and, quick and easy mart, actually. Door seems to be locked. There's a piece of paper taped to the other side that says opening soon. All right. Dad, where do you work? Oh, I'm going to assume this next building. Yeah, Xeno Corp Slabs R&D Department. This is where Dad works. All right, so let's deliver him the research notes. And if I had to make a guess, something terrible is going to happen, and I'm going to end up getting Pokemon. An old issue of a magazine titled Future Energy Quarterly. Let's check out the headlines. Serving the gravitational waves. Hawking radiation. Can it be harnessed? Nuclear fusion. Keeping it chill. I don't understand any of this. There's a bunch of brochures and pamphlets on the shelves here. I really don't care enough to read any of this stuff. A comfortable, forgettable painting of a bowl of fruit. How artsy. <laughs> I love his little comments that he has. What are these? The sign-in sheet, visitor names, and phone numbers are listed here. Wait, someone signed this as Seymour Butts? <laughs> really? Okay, that's cool. Popcorn is coming. Sign up now to reserve your bag. Only two poke two yens a piece. I know those are supposed to be polka dollars, poke, whatever. I just never really like that as a name of a currency. I usually just default to yen because I know the yen is very similar to that. And I actually thought that's what it was when I was a kid. So, reminder, don't click on links and emails from external senders. Phishing is real and it could happen to you. Hi there. Hey there. You'll need to sign in. Just sign the sheet below and show your ID. All right. Okay, you should be good to go. Thanks. All right, thank you. Where the hell does Dad work? Laboratory One Energy Research. Well, might as well explore the area, right? I'm here to show you guys the entire thing. Lab safety is important, you know. Make sure you put on safety goggles before you go anywhere near the large equipment. You don't want to end up like Jim. What happened to Jim? He got hyd hydrochloric acid in his eyes and now he's blind. Yikes, that sounds painful. That does sound painful. There's a bunch of mysterious looking white bottles behind the glass here. I guess they contain important chemicals. Probably. Oh, there's Dad. I'll talk to you in a second, Dad. Uh, 2014, 12, 8, 9, 15. 36 terabyte uploaded successfully. Backup complete. Backup of what? Console windows running lines of code faster than I can read it. It looks like a simulation is running. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here. Spare. I'm working on a top secret project here, but I love, I love to explain it to you, but the details are classified. I'm sorry. 2014, 10, 14. So October 14, 2014, at uh, 632, energy transfer efficiency at 88%, increasing voltage. I don't know what my dad actually does here. Lots of math books, lines, the shelves, partial differential equations, deciduous cues and not theories, etc. These are way over my head. Yeah, I was never that great at math. Hey, Jeffrey, thanks for coming by. Oh, I can't believe I forgot those notes. Handed my research notes over to Dad. Yeah, no problem, Dad. You know, th things have been tough since your mom and I divorced, but I just want to say that I'm proud of you. Are we really going to have this conversation now? Why We could have this at home. <laughs> yeah, why are you getting so sentimental all of a sudden? I'm not sure. I I guess just seeing how grown up you've become really brings a a tear to my eye. It's a parent thing. You'll You'll understand someday. When I was about six or seven, my parents got divorced. I don't really remember much about my mom other than my dad really cared about her. I don't really know why they split up. Dad doesn't like to talk about it much. Mostly he just buries himself in his work, but that was about 11 years ago. Uh, my parents are also divorced. It was for the better, trust me. <laughs> uh, at least my situation was better. They were separated, but I at least know both my parents. Like I still lived, you know, I lived with them at different point in times and whatnot. But anyways, how was school? Do you have a lot of homework tonight? Nope, I only have a bit of pre-cal to do. I was going to hang out with Heather later. Well, I got to get back to work. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you when you get home. Or when I get home. All right, bye, Dad. All right, time to knock out my homework. I better head home. You going to teleport me there? Yeah, you did. Excellent. I love when games do that. All right, homework is done for the day. Time to go hang out with Heather. Cool. Someone should put that food away. Probably me, but I'm not going to. Heather. You know what would be nice? I, Because now that I'm thinking about the time thing, it looks like a lot of time does jump around. It would be nice if the game ignored my internal clock and would just be like daytime for preschool and then evening. Like work with like a lighting system for the environment based on like the time of day that you actually want the game to be in. Because uh, it's like I'm forever at night throughout these cutscenes. Hey Heather, you here? Yeah, you are. 
Oh man, I thought your hair was like much darker, but it was because we were out in the dark. Oh, you have great timing. I just finished all my homework for the day. <laughs> nice. I didn't have much, but I did have to run an errand for my dad. So what do you want to play first? I got the new Smash Brothers game if you want to play that. <sighs> Girl after my own heart. Hell yeah, of course I want to play that. Alright, I called dibs on Kirby. I'll be villager. You better not cry when I kick your ass. We don't allow crybabies in this house. <laughs> you wish. We'll see who's the real crybaby. I like it. I I like their friendship. This is this is great. I also love that we're playing Smash Brothers on a Super Nintendo. Hey Heather. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's it like to have both of your parents around? It's all right, I guess. There's always someone in the house, but whenever I get in trouble, I get a lecture from both mom and dad. Why are you asking about that all of a sudden? Well, I was just talking to my dad, and he got all sappy on me. I guess it got me thinking about my mom. I don't really remember much about her, like the way she acted or the person she was. All I have of her is the memory of her walking out. Plus, it never hit me until today, but I've never really known what it's like to have two parents around. It's always just been me and my dad. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my dad, and he works so hard to support both of us. It's just, Sometimes I think he works a little too hard. I guess it just feels like sometimes there's a part of me that's missing, if that makes sense. I don't really know where I'm going with this. It's just some random thoughts that hit me, I guess. I understand. I know that must be hard on you. I mean, it's not that bad. It just gets me thinking sometimes. Anyways, thanks for listening. Sorry for rambling a bit. It's no problem. I'm glad you told me. We've been friends for how long? You know you can come to me with anything. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. It means a lot. Well, if you want to do something cool to take your mind off of it, I had an idea. Go on. <laughs> what is this super awesome idea? Okay, you know the abandoned house at the edge of the suburbs? Oh, fucking course. I, I had a feeling. I found a way in the other day. You want to go explore it? That sounds rad. Lead the way. No one says rad anymore, but... That does sound cool. I'm totally down for this. Oh, okay, so we're over here. Let me see. Okay, Jeffrey, you ready? I found a bar in the fence here that's loose. All we have to do is slip through it. Don't let the old man who works here catch you, though. I'll go first and clear the way. All right, be careful. This is cool. This is fun. Okay, the coast is clear. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Oh, here's the hole. We can slip through here to get into the backyard of the house. I'll lead the way. Oh, we're now in tall grass. This grass sure is thick. I hope we don't step on any snakes in here. Don't worry, there aren't any snakes in the city. They're all afraid of me. She's, uh, you know, she's so cool. I really like this character. She's an awesome character. I kind of wish I was playing as her. <laughs> Although, I'm, I know that we would, she would be the one without the parent whole thing and whatnot. She's cool. Who's this guy? I don't know him. The label on the painting is too worn and faded to read. Alright. This place looks like it's been ransacked. I wonder what happened here. I'm gonna go take a look around. Try not to hurt yourself. All right, let's uh, let's explore a bit. Plant is toppled over. I sort of feel bad for it. Is it weird to feel to feel bad for a plant? Not really. They're alive. Phone has the power. There's no way to be operational. Is there anything in the fridge? <laughs> no, I'm not opening that. And there are flies crawling out of the drain. Ew! Oh, this place is gross. Found anything cool? There's got to be something awesome hidden here. Gotta be. The trash can looks like it's been overturned. There's scraps of shredder paper all over the floor. If I find a dead body... Oh my goodness. That'd be the way to start this. It looks like an underwear drawer. Why? For some reason, this bookshelf was untouched while the others were ransacked. <laughs> uh, contains a lot of writing. They look like the notes my dad takes. Uh-oh. What's your my dad doing? The leg of the table snapped and there's splintering on the corner. What happened here? What happened indeed? Hmm, what's this? Obtains a strange device. It's a Pokedex. So this has to be, there has been no Pokemon throughout the day. No mention of any Pokemon. So there are no Pokemons in this world that I'm in. And the fact that I don't even know that this is a Pokedex. But, uh, yeah, we don't know anything about Pokemon. But, I mean, there's a Pokedex there, but I don't know. Did you find something? It's some kind of device. I can't figure out how what it is or how to use it. Whoa, there's a D carved into the front. What do you think it means? You can say. I bet my dad would have some idea what it is, though. 
I think we've seen everything there is in here. Let's get out of here before someone sees us. I'm headed home. I'll see you tomorrow, Jeffrey. Oh, there was a downstairs basement. Oh, yeah, man. I wanted to go downstairs. Jeffrey. Yes, Satan? Jeffrey, wake up. It's time for school. Ah, that dream again. What does it mean? Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about the game? I know we haven't really gotten far enough, there's a lot of setup to the game, so you can't really see in terms of like, what it really can deliver, it's kind of odd for a Pokemon game, but to be completely honest, I'm enjoying it for, so far, I kind of like the feel of it, the dialogue is on point, so I'm pretty excited, but uh, let me know your thoughts, do you want me, what do you think about this, uh, this game, um, and if you want to play yourself, I will provide a link to the game in the description below, and if you enjoyed this video, Please hit that thumbs up button, please, 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 it helps me out immensely. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you can get more content on the daily, Monday through Friday, of Let's Plays. Um, and yeah, well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.